a lot bigger than the trout in Georgia. Mark Bagwell from Georgia That's just a snagged a paddlefish for the very first time. It feels like it just, uh, all of a sudden you slam into a wall. I mean, the boat just stops. <laughs> it's a monster. This is not your typical fishing trip. Anglers snag the fish by jerking baitless hooks through open waters in hopes of catching one of these trophy fish. This is a combination of hunting and fishing together. That's the best way to describe it. It's got a little redneck in it. Oh yeah, baby, it's moving now. Oh. Warsaw, Missouri is known as the paddlefish capital of the world. It's great tourism dollars for the town of Warsaw. People come from all over to fish these waters at the Lake of the Ozarks. And you'll see everything, I swear, from bathtubs to yachts out here snagging. It's just changed a lot in the last few years. You want to get on TV. Because very little research exists on the sport of paddlefish snagging, University of Missouri Associate Professor Mark Morgan wanted to take a closer look at the social aspects of this activity. In his study, the MU researcher focused on the people who snag these giant fish and why they do it. I think many anglers think that uh, paddlefish snagging is a, a lowbrow type activity because fish are not biting any type of lure or bait. But as you can see, that the big reason for paddlefish snagging is to catch a, uh, not only a large fish, but also a very unusual fish. Paddlefish date back before dinosaurs. They are also known in Missouri as spoonbills. Part of the appeal for paddlefish snagging is the man versus beast. Fish on. They could be 40 or 50 pounds, could be 60, 70 pounds. You get into the 80 pound range, that's a huge fish. And so there's a large fight associated with these fish. And so people find that to be very appealing. <laughs> From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting. Stand up. I don't know if I can. <laughs>